Hello and welcome to the Taskmaster podcast. It's me, Ed Gamble, the host of that podcast, what you are listening to now. We chat about Taskmaster episode by episode and go through it task by task with a fine tooth comb. I always have a special guest and today's special guest to discuss series six, episode five is Margaret Caborn Smith, a returning podcast guest. Margaret has not been on Taskmaster, but she is absolutely wonderful, a brilliant actor and writer, comedian, and she's absolutely obsessed with the show. So it's always a good chat. Uh, You'll very much enjoy this episode. Uh, It's a momentous episode of Series 6, features one of the most memorable uh, task results uh, in Series 6. So you're in for a real treat. Uh, Taskmaster things you can of course now subscribe to Taskmaster Supermax Plus which is the official specific Taskmaster streaming service it's going to have all the series on there you can sign up for a free trial it's ad free of course you can watch it without ads and you can just start watching Taskmaster keep watching it and then start all over again it's like painting the fourth bridge you need to keep doing it for the rest of your life go to Taskmaster Supermax Plus dot VA hx.tv for more information don't forget you can also come and see me on tour i'm doing my show electric up and down the country i've done loads of dates already but plenty more to come do go on to edgamble.co.uk for more information on that but now here discussing series six episode five is margaret k born smith Welcome back to the Taskmaster po- podcast, Margaret. I nearly said podcast wrong. Can you imagine that? <laughs> you sort of did. You said pod podcast. Po- pod podcast. Well, look, this is such a great podcast these days. It's done so well. We've added another pod to the name <laughs> pod podcast. So good you said it twice. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Very exciting to have you back. A very popular uh, appearances in the past. Uh, and now we're chatting about series six, of course. Yes. Uh, a fan of series six? Yeah, of course. I mean, it'd be amazing if I was like, nah. No, <laughs> I'd take it or leave it. Me. First time I've ever seen it, don't like it. <laughs> so I only watched the first five minutes. Is that all right? <laughs> um... you, you, would be, you would be surprised <laughs> by the amount of people who log on and haven't even watched the first five minutes. So don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely love it. Lisa's probably, I mean, she's up there with the all time. Great. I, yeah, I mean, I would totally agree with that. And there is obviously the moment in this episode that not only marks her out as one of the all-time Taskmaster greats, but as one of the great people. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, I would say that that's yeah. true. There's a few of those, but yeah, we will, we will, we will, we will come, come to, that. to it. We will come to that. Yeah. Um, did you it should be taught in school? Yes, that's, uh, that's what genuinely I'm should be. <laughs> Obviously, uh, Lisa wins the series. Mm-hmm. Did you did you realize that going in? Did you think when you first saw it, you think did you think Lisa's definitely going to win it, or did you no, have your eye on No, do you know what else? I had? I, I didn't have my eye on someone else, but I had a worry in the beginning I, my feeling about Lisa in the beginning was oh no I don't know if she's enjoying this I felt right. like I felt like maybe she might just throw the whole thing I felt maybe like she had the capacity to win it very very clearly yeah but you know how sometimes she just goes oh I was just in a mood that day yeah and, um, and she does that a few times to the point that you think well she if she could really throw this away but actually I don't think Greg would have let her throw it away I think Greg no, would and also, see her star quality Totally, and I think I think Greg appreciates that uh, that energy. The mm. I was just in a bad mood that day energy. So yeah. fuck it, fuck it. I'll do what I want energy. Yeah, um, the lack of neediness is something Greg totally, absolutely loves. Totally, and he he do, he does tend to reward that. I mean, certainly with with Lisa, and there's been you know various other people throughout the series who've had that same energy, and he does tend to like them. Yeah. Um, so ob- obviously, I would have thought going in. I would have had my eye on Russell to, oh, to yeah. take the to take Alpha the head Chimp, home. Russell Howard. Alpha Chimp, yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And so yeah. sporty and so exactly, like Exactly, because so he's up one of those it. annoying annoying people in comedy who are sporty as well, which yeah. sh- just shouldn't be allowed. But. Everyone in comedy should have one talent and that should be comedy. <laughs> You're not no allowed to have No hand-eye coordination. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You should be dropping the microphone as soon as you walk on. Yeah, that's, exactly. That's the exactly. side of that's the side of a comedian. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't really know much about Asim going in, but I mean, I think from episode one, it was fairly clear that uh, he was not destined for the top spot. 
No, him and Alice vying. Yeah. <laughs> same same with company. Alice, definitely. I mean, I, there's a couple of moments in this episode specifically where you think, oh, Alice can't really be bothered either. She's just going to be very sardonic and sort of muddle her way through. She just, she strikes me as someone who just likes to live on the periphery of things. Yes. You know, she doesn't want to get fully involved. I mean, I think she's got an amazing creative mind. Yes, totally. She's very, yeah. very sparkly. Like I was thinking about her bringing blood on as the best liquid yeah. and what a ballsy move that is there's a darkness do. there there's a darkness yeah. there to alice yeah yeah no i think I, I i think i think people sort of uh uh sort of underestimate her in this series because yeah. she's quite quiet but then you know you can occasionally see she sneaks things in that she just sort of lets pass by that if i did them i'd be like look at what i did <laughs> yes yeah yeah she doesn't fight in the right sort of way i think probably if she was a bit more fighty yeah. she'd have done better and I hate to throw forward again, but there is a, a perfect moment to describe that uh, uh, coming up in the, in yes. the string task. Um, I mean, and this Tim... is—I like the way we're sort of uh, <laughs> we're, doing we're a coming it. up in good. the podcast. Yeah, it's like Keep we're listening on radio. Past the, past the five, <laughs> first five minutes, please. <laughs> and Tim is just chaos uh, for yeah, full for a man who can chaos. write such good jokes and clearly is so focused in his uh, in his career. Um, yeah, just he's just a Wally, isn't he? And I love yeah, it. Yeah, full Wally. Like <laughs> I, I, I just listened to his uh, episode of of this, and he was like, "Oh, it was just nice not having to remember anything." <laughs> so, okay, that's that's the attitude. It's just yeah. like, rolling around basically. Yeah, that's completely. I guess yeah, him having to remember all his jokes is the only thing that keeps him sort of focused on the stage. <laughs> yes. Yeah. If he was riffing, he'd just fall off straight away, trip over his shoelaces. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Do you have any? Do you have any standout memories from from series six that aren't necessarily in from in this, this episode? episode? Well, obviously, there's the the the, the thing we're going to talk about in a yes. minute. Yes, but I was thinking. Well, do you know what my favourite thing is? Um, was the episode where Russell <laughs> essentially gets his manager to get him a cab? That's episode right. one, I think. That's episode as well. one. Yeah. Well, Lisa <laughs> doing a callback to that at the end of the episode where she goes, "Oh God, bring your manager." <laughs> I think is my favourite moment of the whole series. Although yeah, her destroying you... that little man is also amazing. Yes, the little man. Uh, I think yeah, that is incredible, and I love how much Russell laughs at it as well. He's like, yeah. "Oh, you've you've got me." Yeah. Russell, one of one of the great riffers, one of the great uh, one of the great improvisers on stage, and can really yeah. handle an audience. He knows when he's been best. Yeah, he's totally and... yeah, he's slave to her basically. <laughs> <laughs> So let's crack on and talk about the prize task, which is the yes. sturdiest thing. Yes. Now, I think this is a great category. Yeah. But here's my issue with this, go Margaret. On. They then go on to employ a system <gasps> yes. to demonstrate the this sturdiest ex- thing, which is you un- and I unfair. I have one mind on this because that is not what sturdy is about. No. No, it terminal should... velocity. The terminal velocity of Greg Davies being dropped of a twenty stone man. No, yeah, that's not <laughs> no. fair. You need to, if you want to do that, the prize star should be bring in the thing that can stand up to Greg Davies falling onto it from fifteen feet. Yes. That's what it should be. Which yeah. is a great, a great prize. I mean, star. Oh God, I mean, if they haven't written that down for a later <laughs> series, they're idiots. So everyone yeah. had brought in sturd, you know, things that they considered to be sturdy. But the whole point of the prize task is they're it's people's angles on it, right? They bring on yeah. what they think is sturdy and it's open to interpretation. So I think some people got screwed over here. Definitely. Um, do, do you have anything that sprung into your mind that you'd think I'd bring that in as a sturdy thing? Well, I think sturdy, I mean, so yeah, I've written down some things that I think when I hear sturdy, a rosy cheeked milkmaid, <laughs> a, t- a 10 year old boy who's just won a Jim Carna. <laughs> And a three-legged Susan Boyle. (laughs) Those are the things. I probably can't bring any of those in. Do you think you could have convinced Susan Boyle to come to the studio and sort of strap an extra leg to her? Maybe just to her back when she wasn't, when she was leaving the room. Yeah. (laughs) Just stuck it on her. (laughs) I mean, she's the sort of person that she might be up for that, you know. She might be up for that, yeah, um, totally. She's a maverick. Yeah, and 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 sturdy as well for sure. Uh, as the the milkmaid, I love as an idea. Yeah, um, they have to be so sturdy, right? They have to be really sturdy, and they're sort of sturdy emotionally, getting up early every morning to milk the cows. <laughs> There's multiple sturds. With, the, so, with the much sturd. so much sturd. So much emotionally sturdy. And all of them be emotionally <laughs> sturdy. Because this is what this you can you can reinterpret the ta- the task sometimes the prize task and and say I brought in an emotionally sturdy thing. Yes. Or, 
redefine it. Greg doesn't necessarily like that, but you couldn't do it under this new system of Greg being dropped onto it at 15 no. feet because Susan Boyle would be dead. <laughs> How about if you emotionally dropped it onto her? Yeah, you emotionally <laughs> dropped Greg onto oh, her. Oh, an emotional Greg Davis. Yeah. <laughs> the emotion of Greg Davis being dropped on you. But, I mean, I'm obsessed with the idea of him absorbing that small... Oh, yeah, uh, you can just imagine it, can't you? <laughs> And then 15 it makes years me later, think, what has he absorbed into, yeah. his, into his skin? By just well, one day he's going to get a, a little it. pain and have to go to the doctor. <laughs> and they're going to x-ray it and there's going to be a little St. Bernard in there or something. Yeah. yeah, because I like to think that after the episodes, they do then do the thing, right? Yes, so I think they so. So they did drop Greg onto that donkey. Yeah. They did. <laughs> Tell me they did. I'm sure they did. I mean, the donkey was a mess. It shouldn't have got five points. <laughs> Let, I mean, look, either way you look at it, regardless of whether you're dropping Greg onto it, uh, whether we're just talking about Sturdy in general, mm. um, Asim's was definitely <laughs> the worst. I mean, what was he thinking? I think he'd heard somewhere that a fact the, about an egg. Yeah, like something like it's the strongest material relatively or something. Or, you know, I think there were... is stuff about like you put it, something on the tip of an egg, you could stand on the tip yeah. of an egg or something like yeah, that. Yeah, the pressure, the top and the bottom of like you can't squash an egg or something like that with yeah. your fingers. Yeah, like relatively if you, you know, it has, for its size, it is the sturdiest thing. But he didn't but know any of that. No, he didn't. He didn't have, no, he's not done the research. Yeah, All he I mean, said was, "If you drop it out a tree, if you drop it out a tree, it won't crack." Is what he said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. So rubbish. he did not. I saw the idea behind it, but it was terrible. It did deserve one point, but yeah. it's it's worth mentioning as another throw forward. He oh. he did announce that he's vegan. Yeah, which comes into play in the next episode. So yeah, spoilers for the next episode. But I was I was remembering what I was thinking when I first saw it, so when I didn't yeah. know that there was a payoff to that. And I think I felt a bit scared of him. I was, just <laughs> like, I was like, what? what's wrong with you? Because I think Greg says later, I thought you'd lost your yeah. mind. <laughs> and I think that's how I felt. I think I was watching it going, why has that happened? And then, and then especially because then there's so many eggs in the rest of the episode yeah. that he doesn't seem to give a shit about. So it's like for somebody who's... Come yeah. out as vegan so strongly, and, and he's brought an egg with him. Happy. Yeah, yeah, he's brought he's brought an egg with him. He, you know, he's whipping them later. He's, he's <laughs> chucking them at things. Considering, like thinking about Romesh, yeah, and how traumatized he yes, was by all of those of eggs he destroyed. Yeah. I was really, really thrown yeah. by this. Um, I was very thrown as well. I, my main thought was, why have they left this in the edit? Mm. He's clearly tried to do something there, but it's not quite worked. No, he's just been, it, it's received him, baffled. Yeah, baffled starting his reaction. own applause, which is yeah, never a good, good thing to watch either. Like again, you sort of think, are you having a breakdown? Yeah, but re- I mean, when it's worth the payoff, it it's worth totally that awkwardness is. with the payoff. It's yeah, brilliant. love it, absolutely love it. So it was it was one point for Asim, uh, sadly. Uh, mm-hmm. Tim Tim Vine brought in a small plastic <laughs> Saint Bernard that w- this was glossed over. Oh. The fact the, that he goes outside and throws yes, it onto the patio yes. when he's angry. No one really dug into that. No, everyone's like, no, yeah. Like, we <laughs> yeah, all have honestly. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you all have a thing that you throw when you're angry. I think it's, it's just because Tim, Tim's being the angry nicest. Well. well, exactly. So I mm. guess he's the nicest man ever. So when he does suddenly have a small piece of anger, he has to go out there and he has to <laughs> yes. do something to get, get it out of system. <laughs> and he throws a tiny, not very breakable thing. Yeah. In an outdoor area where it can safely no can, rebound. Yeah. No one yeah. can see him, apart from his neighbours who probably think he's insane. <laughs> um, maybe the uh, the small plastic St Bernard is is the only thing that stops Tim being like a, mur- a murderer. Oh, maybe oh if he lost if he lost the St Bernard, suddenly there's a slew yes, of killings darkness. in his area. Yes, <laughs> or, but but maybe the rest of us should invest in a small each plastic yeah. St Bernard, and it would make. All of us as nice as Tim Vine. Oh, wow. That's, that's possible. Nice. That's nice. I think this deserved way more yeah. because it is very sturdy. And it's sturdy because it's small as well. Yeah, um, it was clever. So you could probably stand on it and it'd be all right. Because I know that sort of material that that is. It's like that hard plastic or hard yeah. rubber. And it's very difficult to do anything with. Yeah, um, you'd have to m- melt it. I think you'd have to melt it. Which yeah. that doesn't that feels wrong when you're talking about sturdy. Sturdy. No, you're right. You're right. Yeah. They and also, say the... a fiery Greg Davis. Exactly. Will lend him, <laughs> he's no it? Greg's not on fire when he's throwing himself <laughs> onto it. Um, so that is also, an extra exciting element. The St. Bernard <clears throat> dog itself 
is sturdy. It represents yes. a sturdy breed. Yes. A really helpful, emotionally sturdy. Emotionally sturdy. It stands up to cold temperatures, wears the little brandy around its neck. It, it look, all of, all of this meant that I feel like it deserved way more than Agreed. two points. Um, potentially more than Russell Howard's brother's calves. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, absolutely. They're, um, because they're attached to some, I mean, we didn't get to see the rest of him, maybe the rest of him's very weedy and boneless. Well, I, I, I <laughs> must say, him. I've met uh, I've met Russell's brother on a number of occasions, and he is he is a sturdy man. He's a sturdy. Uh, I think the calves. He's a sturd. The calves uh, were in keeping with the rest of his bod. Um, <laughs> okay. He's definitely a sturdy guy. I think. Yeah. I, yeah. I think. I think that was quite a good. That was quite a good. Yeah, plan. it was a good call. I mean, I really yeah. enjoyed Greg calling them disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> just love the disembodied calves as a prize like what well, yeah i do think we have to maintain some sort of um some sort of rule in the prize task that you should be able to take them home yes specifically um, not attached to everything else but... not attached to whoever is the guest which is obviously an awful that would be an awful operation for <laughs> russell's brother to go through no one wants to watch that no no one wants to see that but i think i think russell offered people use of use of his brother's calves by a piggyback <laughs> which i suppose i suppose is okay um under greg's system uh of sturdiness this is probably the correct score i think i think three points for yeah. this fe- feels about yeah, right yeah that is right yeah. yeah um alice brought in her mother's polytunnel i thought this was a really this is really good oh so um, good Proper because she effort. says it's been it's been tested yeah under wind conditions so that's why it's sturdy but then we need to talk about greg <laughs> flopping onto it um, <laughs> Do you think he could, he couldn't spread his load? I think that's. I don't think he could spread his load. <laughs> I think he was being very generous there by saying that the polytunnel would. He was being generous to himself to say that the polytunnel <laughs> would support him. If he jumps on that polytunnel, the whole thing would come. The down. whole thing's going, and all the plants inside. All the plants yeah. are yeah. gone. No, it's absolutely not awful. Or it depends what speed he's going. It might just. He might go straight through <laughs> it and just leave like a Greg-shaped hole. <laughs> Into the core of the earth. Yeah, straight through yeah. to the core of the earth. And then he'd be on fire and then he could jump over St. Bernard. <laughs> it all fits. It all fits together. Um, so I, I feel like if Greg's using his system, this should have been less than four points. But yeah. broadly, <laughs> under the sturdiest thing system that we've employed here, yeah. I feel like four points is fair. Yeah, I think you're right. Lisa brought in a donkey. And I think... in. Any category ever, if you bring in a donkey, you should get five points. Yeah, points straight away. It was a real away. life, lovely donkey. It was a really nice donkey it as well, was wasn't it? It was a nice donkey. It was a real, like, I mean, the end montage of this is the best, yeah. is the all-time yeah. best of the master <laughs> end montages. I think you can see Russell Howard's brother with the donkey. Yeah, I'm not sure now you'd be able to bring in a live donkey. I don't know why I've decided no. that people would be upset about that. But this stands like a real... You might be right. ...moment in time. Nowadays, you probably wouldn't be able to bring Russell Howe's brother in. <laughs> well, no, no, it's all lateral flow tests. It's all... <laughs> <laughs> you could bring in a la- a Russell Howe's brother's negative lateral flow test. That would be the prize. <laughs> but the donkey, yeah, the donkey, beautiful donkey. Yeah. I don't. I think... Greg's system doesn't work here. I think if Greg landed on a donkey from 15 feet... Oh, well, I was worried about it. He'd cleave that no. donkey in half, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, nobody wants that. But sturdy, it didn't... Well, also, it didn't... It was a lovely donkey, but it didn't look yeah. particularly sturdy. It was quite no, a No, it looked very, yeah, gentle and... Uh, very nice. Yeah, like, I mean, the, the three-legged Susan Boyle was a, a better bet, I think. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Look, that goes without saying. That's the five points for me straight away. Yes! But personally, I'd, I would have gone with Tim for four or five points. I would have yeah. put Lisa down a couple of places and maybe Alice for the win or, the, or stay at five points. But Tim yeah. deserved way more. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But I think it, I, he didn't argue it enough, did he? No, he didn't, and that that's he actually just let a bit it of be a... absorbed into Greg's fat feet. <laughs> there's there's actually that happens in this series a lot with with various people that they simply don't argue in the studio because yeah. um, the tasks are brilliant. They're all brilliant. They do amazing things in the tasks, but in the studio you need to be like, I know this uh, is insane. Yeah. Here's here's why. Um, yeah, here are my killer yeah. arguments. But there was no killer argument for the egg, which is fair. <laughs> uh, well, was... no, but as you say, he just clearly hadn't even 
thought about you know he hadn't even no. looked up the thing he'd half remembered about and also it. in his head i think he was focusing on the vegan announcement <laughs> yeah so once he'd done that he was probably relieved um, it was one point for asim two points for tim three points for russell and his brother's calves uh <laughs> Alice got four points, and it was five points for Lisa and Thomas the Donkey. That's him. What's your sturdy item? Well, before we do that, I just want to say that from today, I am now officially a vegan. Come on. Come on. So, my sturdiest thing <laughs> is... Um, my most sturdiest thing is... I'm flipping it a little bit. Something you wouldn't think is sturdy, but I'm actually going for an egg. Ah. I'm back in the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are. But did so, you know that... Just you... the old cross-eyed beast stuff. <laughs> <laughs> did you know that you could drop an egg from a tree and it won't break? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what if you dropped a 20-stone man from 15-foot terminal velocity onto it? <laughs> <laughs> scramble! Yeah, a scramble egg, yeah. <laughs> Not great news for the... Ve- I won't be able to eat it as well, cos I'm vegan now, so... Mm. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, that is definitely last place. <laughs> <laughs> Task one. Without leaving the caravan, work out how long this piece of string is. You have five minutes. Most accurate answer wins. Your time starts now. Enter Tim Vine, the absolute <laughs> clown. Even before he's got to the task, <clears throat> he is messing around. And I it's mean... brilliant. He yeah, and he he really didn't understand that that wasn't the task. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just following the string through the tunnel. <laughs> so obedient, such but an all, obedient little clown. It's obedient, and also he just knows why he's funny, and he knows yeah. what what value he can get out of stuff, and he knows that climbing through that, that little child's <laughs> tunnel and trying to pull his shorts pull his, up at the yeah, same time. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can gif that, can't you? <laughs> yeah, just fantastic. What would you have done in this situation, Margaret? Because um, because I, I would have been tempted. I mean, Asim, Asim literally going 500 foot. <laughs> I would have been so tempted at that point, depending on when it was in the day, to just yeah, go... Yeah, how tired just go, are. Yeah, all right, 500 foot. Yeah, exactly. So sort of guess what they sell those string balls Yeah, that's good. In, what, yeah. you know, so yeah. that probably is... I don't know, 100 metres? Is that too much? Um, I think I would have done the thing where I tried to pull the string into the caravan. Yeah. Um, and I would almost certainly have not achieved that. Yeah. Like, did they, they did they break? A few people, they just broke, didn't they? Lisa's broke. I mean, I was surprised that Lisa even tried to pull the string into the caravan <laughs> because, as she admitted, she was just cross that morning. Cross that day. I really enjoyed her... Um, half-heartedly trying to weigh the string in her hand. <laughs> <laughs> Alex sort of going, can you have a bit of a go, better go? But it didn't take her long before the, the string broke and then she just she could have tried to think of something else. She absolutely didn't. And then just yeah. went, I can't help you. I can't help you. And I really love the um, the idea that she she feels she's been brought in to Taskmaster to, to sort of have to make things better. Like, she's yeah. not a contestant. She's somehow the overlord. <laughs> she's yeah, like, they've oh, gone... oh, bless you, Alex. They've can you come and help us? We've got a ta- we've got into a tangle here. <laughs> we don't know how long this string is. There's only one person for the job. <laughs> yeah, call Lisa Tarbuck. I mean, call I'm Lisa sure Tarbuck. she's a she's a troubleshooter for for everyone. I'm sure. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I um, love her as a friend because I just feel like anything, oh, any yeah. trouble I got into, I'd be like Lisa. Lisa she's got to be. Able she's to emotionally help me. sturdy. She'll think it's me. So emotionally sturdy. Should have brought herself in. Um, yes, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was a fantastic thing to watch, but an awful... I mean, she just couldn't be bothered when she said four miles, which I love. <laughs> just love it. Four uh, miles. Four miles, brilliant. Um, they definitely don't sell string in four miles. No, there's... It, no, I think... And I, you know what? I think she knew that. <laughs> <laughs> I think she just let that one slide. Um, now, Alice does something that I, I think, when I was watching it for the first time, I thought I'd give this a go. But this is a classic yeah. example of Alice coming up with a really good idea and then not arguing it at all no. in the studio. So she cut her own bit of string and said, I'm going to guess That's that this is seven. five foot seven. Because it says, work out how long this piece of string is. Yeah. You could cut a bit and then just throw the rest away and say, yeah. put that there and go, well, this piece of string is but, arguable. Yeah, exactly. Because this is, what, this is what I was thinking. As soon as that string is broken... Then you then you're no longer measuring the full no. length of it. Surely it's, it's this piece of string. Yeah, yeah. You know? 
Um, no, I thought it was kind of brilliant. But then I, but yeah, her arguing technique is always slightly mardy teenager. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's what Greg responds to. She's just like, what? What? It's brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's it. She and I goes think it's all it. brilliant. She goes into it with her sort of shoulders dropped, like, oh God, I'm going to be absolutely <laughs> torn apart for this. And she does it later yeah. with the trick, the trick shot as well, where she's like, she knows it's bad. But yeah. I think if you go into these things confident and try, Greg likes Agreed. a bullshitter. Oh, so if Lou gotta... Sanders had done that. Yeah. She'd oh, been yeah. all over it. And, and then at least if, if Lou had done it and Greg said no, she would have smashed the whole studio up or something. <laughs> Yeah, come on, Alice. What's your studio <laughs> smashing attitude? <laughs> but I thought I thought it was a good attempt. She just needed to be behind it a little bit more. Yeah, um, yeah, I completely agree. Russell look, tries to look for a tape measure. Uh, sort of undoes undoes the knot a bit. He tries he he tries more than Lisa. Let's get yeah. him credit. And, and I guess... loved watching him sort of playing with the string. On yeah, his lap. <clears throat> I was like, oh, because this... Russell strikes me as someone who's so successful. He doesn't have to do little things. I mean, not that anyone. You think he's got? You think he's got a string? Man. He's got staff. Yeah, he's got string, <laughs> string staff. <laughs> he called his agent again to. <laughs> yeah. Can you come and measure some string for me, please? Yeah, he's sort of untangling it. It was really sweet, like the in, the intent concentration. <laughs> yeah. But then, yeah, he did abandon it, didn't he? He did abandon it, but but a, a good guess. He's very competent. Uh, and yeah, what was his guess? One hundred and two feet. Which... Right. Okay. Is you know, yeah. it's more accurate than four miles, for example. <laughs> yeah. Um, because of course the correct answer was three hundred and eighteen feet. So he's he's a way yeah, off, but um, but all the way over the other side of him uh, <laughs> was Asim, who guessed five hundred feet. As we said, just literally just said two hundred feet and then changed it to five hundred feet. And I relate to that. I relate to that. You know yeah. when you when you make a guess and someone just repeats it back to you, yeah. and you're like immediately like, oh no, oh no, that's probably not right. <laughs> but you don't know which way to go. You know, I'll yeah. just I'll just add three hundred to that. You've, are you, have you done House of Games? No, I haven't. I haven't. Well, I've, I've, a you 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 should you should oh, do no, House of Games. No, I have been I have been hassling Richard about it. But. Yeah, keep hassling Richard about <laughs> well, it. Well, it's the only um, way. Because he loves they have it these as well. Comedians sorts of things. <laughs> <laughs> All of it. Any comedians listening now, go and hassle, hassle Richard Osman. Richard. DM the hell out of him. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> um, because there's occasionally guessing games like this where mm. you have to just estimate something. Oh, God. And the then you turn around ones. your screen. Oh, God. And then, then you realise what everyone else yeah. has done. And you're like, oh, my God, I'm yes. so far off. We, I was on with Kate Thornton. Uh, and we had to guess the world's tallest sandcastle. <laughs> and she guessed five miles. <laughs> she said it was five miles high. It was in space. What? That's so good. <laughs> what did you guess? I mean, that must have made you feel Mine better. was closer, I think. I, I guessed in metres for a start. Yeah. I thought, I thought, why not start with metres? Five miles? But it was just when everyone was presenting their guess there and you could just see her mo- five mortified. Miles. Five miles high. <laughs> How are you getting it? What size is your bucket? <laughs> oh my god, that's brilliant! But it's just when you realise you have n- like people have no concept of distances. No. Um, but yeah, uh, it's like it's like Lisa guessing four miles for the string. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's talk about Tim's attempt because this this oh. was like watching a deleted scene from an obscure seventies sitcom. <laughs> Well, I was thinking um, I'd be happy to watch this on Britain's Got Talent. Yeah, you know, a man wrapping, kind of... wrapping string around a lobster. <laughs> Pulling a polytunnel to him. It was it's like, ju- it was it's like the collecting sort of everything wearing up. It. It's yeah. so funny. It's so it's funny. So funny. And the fact he's in the safari suit as well and just really going for it in quite a performative way. And then yeah. about after he's done it a hundred times, you can see him be like, oh God, what have I committed to this? <laughs> then the flower comes up in the polytunnel. It's just so great. Yeah, it's lovely. Like a um, it was, and he smashes it. Yeah. I mean, there you go. <clears throat> Throwing yourself into something. Yeah, it just pays off. in the way, isn't it? It pays off. And I can't believe this is the fifth episode and this is the first task he's won apart from a prize <laughs> <coughs> It was incredible. Yeah. And he's so he's so lovely. If I if I'd got to episode five <laughs> and not won a task, I would be sat there raging oh, at the beginning. Yeah, fuming. And Tim's so happy. Such a lovely, yeah. happy man. Um, well, look, I was so well, happy that Tim got... this is because he's been throwing his uh, 
St. Bernard's. You, you know, must have gone home every lead. night yeah. after filming oh, Taskmaster and thrown yeah. his St. Bernard on the floor. <laughs> uh, I'm glad he got it back so uh, he doesn't turn into Tim yeah. Vine the murderer. Um, five points for Tim, four points for Asim, three points for Russell, two points for Alice, and one point for Lisa. Um, a rare one point for Lisa. Mm. Um, well, that's, you know, that goes to show when, when you're in a mood. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to follow the string. I know. Uh, evidently. <laughs> I thought I didn't want to get to disqualified for not, oh, well, you didn't go through the tunnel, did you? I thought I'd be the only one who didn't. Not the only one who did. Right. <laughs> yeah, you took 15 minutes longer than anyone else to reach the time. <laughs> Task two. Pull this tablecloth off this table. Most eggs left unbroken on, broken on the table wins. You have one attempt and may not tamper with the table, tablecloth or eggs. Your time starts now. Well, I guess we don't need to talk about this one for too long. <laughs> So, well, can I ask you, Ed? What yeah. Would you, what would your tactic have been? I think I would have just had to have done it. You, I think I probably do, would tr- you do would the have... whipping though? Yeah. Oh God, yeah. Because I would have done what Alice did, which is to do it really, really slowly and carefully. And well, here's here's was... my interesting take. take on this. Yes. You had one attempt. I think Alice has about six attempts. In oh. There. Do you think? Well, it's because it's because. Alex is specific was with Asim to say it's one whip. You've got to go with one whip. Alice teases. I, I but would suggest that in the task that each... it doesn't say whip, does it? No, but I would suggest each little tease is a little it's attempt not... because oh, it's God. it's seeing how it's seeing how much she'll need yeah, to do in water. future attempts. I think it's test attempts oh, and then okay. that's how I feel about it. But you know what? It was given, so I th- you would you would have got the points. You would have got yeah. the points if you'd done so that. Who cares? I would have. <sighs> You know what? I don't. I think I would have whipped, and I don't. I think they would have all ended up on the floor. <laughs> I think I would I mean, have been the only been good. person. They clearly wanted that to happen. I mean, they oh must yeah, have been totally. gutted that every egg was fine. Yeah, like what? And Russell chances? must have been gutted because, oh, because he was the he first one to be shown. Big, yeah. He made such a big show of oh, it, and in so the studio funny. he was grinning ear to ear, yeah. and then everyone else did it anyway. Yeah, Alpha You'd Chimp. Be gutted, wouldn't you? <laughs> yes, Alpha so Chimp, gutted. sad Alpha Chimp. Um, <laughs> Especially knowing about him dropping to his knees yeah. outside the room. <laughs> he does do it in the coolest way, though. Yeah, um, he does. And Asim just says eggs when he walks in. <laughs> eggs. Eggs. Yes, Asim. Um, no, I loved it. I, mean, I don't think that's happened on Taskmaster before. They wouldn't have shown no. it if that had happened on No, series, I was surprised I they they showed it, except I, th- I mean, I think is that about the Russell Howard hubris? Yes, uh, yeah, fun? maybe. Yeah. <laughs> It was nice though. I like it that they, yeah, all, they all got it. five points. Point. And I loved all it, of the really. little. Yeah, I loved all of the little. Um, you know, the celebrations and yeah. all of that. And I loved Greg having a go. Yeah. At Alex uh, <laughs> <laughs> for doing it at all. Oh, by the way, I think um, Greg at the beginning of this episode, uh, making Alex say that he supported apartheid, put him in a good mood for the entire thing. I mean, yeah. I think he's an, on uh, over the moon for the entire yeah. episode because oh, of that. Yeah. He's he just was chuffed. delighted. Yeah. I mean, it was very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Alex Horn, and I support apartheid. <laughs> <You> call- <laughs> Should we uh, <laughs> crack on, shall we? <laughs> Wait, it was going to come out eventually, mate. Mm. <laughs> task three, team task. This is mm. the one. This Find is the, the one, link. everybody. <laughs> Find the link and then do it exactly a hundred times. Fastest wins, your time starts now. Now, obviously, it's in the lab. There's all these sort of interesting uh, little uh, signs <clears throat> around and string yeah, and it's like a murder detective room. murder yeah. room sort of detective-y thing um, and you've got to find you've got to find the link now Margaret I just did yeah. an escape room last night so I was did in you? The, I was in You're the right frame of up. mind to yeah. watch this I was all fired up um, and I would have I would have loved this I would yeah. have absolutely loved it and it is easier than it, it it's a lot easier than it seems to be when, yeah. when I first see it I mean I really enjoyed Russell saying I want to burn all of this because, yeah, I... <laughs> because I get that instinct like if you're not into escape rooms if you don't yeah. do it as a thing and you and you you know you find cryptic things annoying or difficult it's interesting because he was genuinely perfectly good at it yes. you know, once yeah, he yeah. was doing it he was fine but just that instinct to go ah there's yeah. no balls here <laughs> I want to throw a thing at a thing <laughs> please let me throw a thing at a thing um, 
Yeah, they were pretty. They were they were pretty good. Uh, I Him think. and Alice. Yeah, Team Funk. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Team Funk were were pretty good. Uh, they did the job. They worked it out together. They listened to each other. <laughs> uh, they both had input into it. Yeah. They worked it out. It was a team effort. Uh, yeah. And they, they did the job. And they even shared the hopping with their little uh, yes, bunny hands. so nice. Exactly. Um, that that, sh- that can be taught in schools as well. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. what we should be doing, kids. Uh, that's how how <laughs> synchronised they were. Um, I mean, let's let's just talk. Let's talk about us in Lisa and Tim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is just incredible. I mean, I remember when this went out, bringing my daughter in to show her just the, <laughs> the clip afterwards to explain how the world worked. <laughs> it's women. It's women in the workplace. <laughs> <clears throat> and part of it is because uh, Asma and Tim are both so lovely. Yes, They're so lovely, and you know, this is not about people being, you know, belittling women or whatever. It's just they just can't hear her. No. <laughs> They're just so focused. And it's Lisa, the most assertive person on the yes. whole lineup as well. They yeah. can't even hear Lisa. He literally hair. goes, Yeah, it's it's hops. It's uh, hops. We've got we've got okay. a hop. We've got I a hop. And they're hops. going, Oh, piss. Is it piss? <laughs> <laughs> the point where Asim says, it, oh, it could be the alphabet. Oh my god. Because it's... there are some letters. But the same I mean, letters, he said H-O-P uh, so many times. Over and over and over. And then says it's it the could alphabet. be the alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that... my seven-year-old was really, really laughing at that. Yeah. That's... <laughs> the alphabet. That's how weak that was. I, uh, to be honest, that's me in an escape room. Just I'm saying, saying, saying what whatever. Yeah. Saying yeah. everything Get it all out loud. Get it all Get out, it all out. Someone else will analyse it. And then, and then I realise I'm not helping with the tasks in hand at all. So I'm the guy going, can we just make sure all the clues are on the central table, please? All the clues, everyone collect the clues here. Let's just catch up with what we've been doing. I want to just get across this. Ridiculous. You're, you know, not that helpful, is helpful at all. I've only yeah. ever done one escape room um, with some people who are really, really accomplished escape yeah. room people. And uh, Lou Sanders, who um, was, uh, you know, well, uh, a whirlwind. Um, I've also done an escape room with Lou Sanders. She does not like escape room. <laughs> no, she's a more of destructive force. Yes. <laughs> but I remember, the thing I remember about it was um, that... I, I had a very complicated underwear situation that I had to sort out. And I remember kind of backing of away room? from them. No, it really wasn't. <laughs> backing away from my friends who were, who were doing the, the work of it, bent over some, you know, wooden puzzle or whatever. And I remember I took quite a long time to sort my tights out. I mean, I, I and then, only then, realised that that's exactly where the camera was. <laughs> with the, with the people. <laughs> and I just and I, I was there for so long it must just have looked like I was an exhibitionist because I was like of course there's a camera they have to be able to look yeah. in to see yeah. how we're doing but at the time I was like I'm just going to shuffle into this corner and you know sh- show my ass. I, 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 I was so I couldn't let the guy in the face when we finally got I don't imagine he couldn't look like, you in the face oh, no <laughs> I haven't seen my face it was, <laughs> I only recognised my ass. <laughs> Well, I, I feel like you should go. You should go do some more escape rooms. Yeah, just and really I did. Cool. No, I did love it, and there were elements yeah. of it that I was good at for sure. But um, yeah, well, as, don't take Asim. Uh, no, um, no, or Tim, because Neither like you said, they're both them. lovely, but just so in this situation, they they looked so thick because they just, just carried so on lost. talking. Yeah, yeah, and and when Lisa started hopping, Tim just started jumping up and down, well, going, they, "I don't know, I don't know if this is helping." It, all he saw was the House of Pain jump around so he right. was acting on that on jump around right um but lisa knew exactly what she was doing she was hopping a hundred times and then said i've hopped a hundred times and alex blew the whistle i mean Done. alex's alex's face while i recommend going back and watching it when lisa's yeah. doing the hopping he's he's so delighted there's a little secret grin and he yeah. must have been so pleased to blow that whistle and watch those men's faces. Baff- they were totally baffled. <laughs> totally baffled. And I loved the, the detail afterwards that they were furious afterwards, didn't even say well done to her. Again, yeah. this is women in the world. Yeah. <laughs> this is all like, you've made me look like an idiot. Greg's going to demolish me. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. And she knew exactly what was happening after a bit. So she told them it was hops enough times. Yeah. And then she yeah. was like, right, I'm well, I'm not going to tell them again. I'm just going to do it, and I know exactly what they're going to look like after I've done this. Yeah, because and she, she and she was amazing, you know. Because I, if it was me, or if it was Lou or Kerry Godleyman, the fury, the <laughs> fury, it would have been like the volume would have been so high. And Lisa, just that second time, she just goes, "It's 
it's hot. It's hot. It's, it, it's hot. She's just, <laughs> she's so calm. She's so just like, this is, this is what life is like sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> just absolutely gets on brilliant. With it, the achieves, cool, the coolest knows. person ever. So uh, cool. Uh, they yeah. got the five points at Asim, Lisa, and Tim. I don't. You can't do it. But I feel like Lisa deserved oh, five and 100%. Asim and Tim deserve three as well. That's the problem with the team thing, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I, I, like they were actively hindering her. They should have got yeah. noughts. Noughts. They should have got noughts. And, uh, and Lisa should have got 15 points. <laughs> uh, but it was five and then three points each for Team Funk. Have we ever had a clearer metaphor <laughs> for the plight of women <laughs> through the ages? <laughs> What I love is just this weary <laughs> trying to get them to hear hops and then in the end just going, OK, I'm just going to stop. <laughs> Ten on each foot, hold the girls down. <laughs> they came into the other room furious. <laughs> no, no, well done. I it was furious it... and Tim's gone, Greg's going to bloody demolish me for Task four, pull off the most elaborate trick shot. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts now. Some controversy in this one, I feel. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because I, I I saw how genuinely angry Russell is in this. Oh, I, it's the best. It's Because I would have been that The day. best, yeah. Because I... Yeah. So let's talk about Lisa so straight much away. Effort. Special effect. She, uses, she gets the team to edit all yeah. the balls going in. I I I've, I believe I've planted this flag in the ground before. I hate the use of special effects in Taskmaster <laughs> when they're not when they're, when it's not explicitly in the in the task. So I don't yeah. like this. Uh, I didn't like it when Noel Fielding shrunk himself down to the size the of banana. a banana and hit mm. the fruit bowl. I don't think that I don't think that's right. I don't think it should have been allowed. It's funny though. It is funny. <laughs> this, so this is the point. This yeah. is where my bre- I I am geared towards doing the funniest thing possible in every single situation in my career until it comes to Taskmaster. At <laughs> which point, everything. all of that shuts down, yeah. <laughs> and it just needs to be correct. You need to stick to the rules. And Lisa using special effects is not the rules, but Russell's reaction is very funny, so it's probably worth it in well, the this end. This is it. This yeah. is it. And again, like so, I was watching it with my seven-year-old, and he was I mean that's the most he's laughed like that that her special effects thing he was yeah. just delighted you know it's properly <laughs> surprising and you yeah know. it is it is and watching Russell get so so angry yeah uh, and by the way so that stays effort, anger yeah. stays angry right through to the very end oh yeah he's still angry in the egg <laughs> 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 which Lisa which Lisa wins which Lisa wins <laughs> so funny and I love it he says I respect you I think you're extraordinary, but that is like a real says fucking bullshit. Those were words that just could have come from my mouth. Yeah. Um, because he puts and in I so much effort. Well. Yeah, totally. So much he, effort. he puts in so much effort, but also, I've got to say, his deserved even less points oh, than, than he got. Because <laughs> oh, the shot it? is the what shot's not a trick it? shot. No. He just took ages to get to the trick shot and faffing around. I know, and he was so in love with the oh, it's just so great to chip a ball into a caravan and Greg he's such just a, says, He's such a boy. You were asked to do a snooker trick <laughs> shot. <laughs> he's such a like he's I, I had so many mates like Russell growing up where just like so obsessed with sports and doing things, yeah. setting themselves challenges. That's so the challenge was the trick shot and Russell going, well, I've got to get it in the bath and then had to keep trying to get it yeah, in the bath. Yeah, get it in the bath. And to do um, to do a hula hoop, which he couldn't do, but he yeah. set himself that, t- like the, the confidence. It's yeah. extraordinary going, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this. And it felt like when he was saying that, I was thinking, oh, because he can do all of those things. No, nope. no, he nope. can't. But and he's he was getting so frustrated with the basketball in the bath and, and the football yeah. in the caravan and stuff. And he's... To the point that I think he's forgotten that that isn't the task. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't have oh, to totally. do any of those things. He's done that himself. Yeah, um, he's like an only child playing on it, you know, and just going, <laughs> oh, I've, got, I've got to do this. Well, I can and come I in for tea when my... I've got this. In yeah, the, exactly. I've got the I can only have my dinner. Yeah. <laughs> and the snooker bit is almost completely overlooked. Oh, it's very, yeah, the snoo- yeah it, it, it wasn't a trick shot. It was just a lot of stuff, but he set himself up for a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah. But very, fu- very funny to watch. So good. Um, now, Asim drops the ball down of shoot. Sure. I was quite impressed with this the first I time. I think I saw it was it. undermarked. I mean, yeah. Like, I, I understand the it's just a big tube 
yeah. thing. But I don't. I think that that still takes some ingenuity and skill. And... Yes, I think so. And it looked good. I, I think yeah. if, when you see all the balls like bumping into each other and then one goes in, I think it's the one thing I'd say about it is it's probably not a trick shot. It's not a snooker trick shot because he doesn't use the cue. He just drops it into oh, the tube. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. But I still preferred it to uh, to Russell's and yeah. Lisa's because he didn't use any special effects. <laughs> um, yeah, so I still preferred it, but no, perhaps it wasn't a trick shot as such. Well, what did you think of Alice's then? I think this is one of the laziest things that's ever happened <laughs> on Taskmaster. <laughs> Listen, she has to, had to lift that up, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Her, her arms look quite little. It was probably quite heavy to lift that up and move it I, around. And but what's funny was, about yeah, it is it was more effort. It. it was more effort than she mm. realised it was going to be as well. Yeah, she just yeah. had to keep lifting it. The song, I loved the song. Yeah. The trick shot song. I really liked that. But she couldn't have given a shit. <laughs> she was like, right, all right. Well, I'm not going to be able to do this. I'll just tip this up and get the ball. I, th- I thought it was extremely lazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I loved Greg giving Alex the opportunity to say that and then yeah. taking it away again, going, no, 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 yeah. you're going to be kind to her. You get it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tim's, though, was not. Tim Tim really made an effort shooting the ball up the pipe yeah. and then having to move something so it came back down. Uh, but then the ball was blocked by a squeaky uh, a squeaky <laughs> giraffe, little giraffe. Obviously. The I wonder if that's part of his menagerie, yeah. Yeah, it's so in yeah. keeping with his look and stuff, right? So yeah, maybe that's just what he had in his pocket. Well, is that was maybe did he have to give the St Bernard oh. to the team before to be a prize task, and then he had to replace it with a giraffe in case he got yes. angry? Yes, yeah. Is that one of his throwing animals? This is what we're yeah. This is what we've invented for him. Yeah, <laughs> this is whole, life. He doesn't have a, a family, room. you know. He just has a plastic <laughs> menagerie, <laughs> just surrounded, going right. I've got a specific sort of anger today. I think it's time for the giraffe. <laughs> is it the squeaky one or is it the hard patio <laughs> one? <laughs> so, I mean, no ball went in, which is interesting, but it was still an interesting mm-hmm. trick shot. He introduced the giraffe. It <laughs> let a, There was a pun. It's what you want from Tim Vine. Yeah. Letter potted giraffe. Yeah. I think it deserved the five. For me, it was the yeah. most interesting. No, 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 definitely. Yeah. And fit the, the category. The others, you can, you're right, you can argue about. But, yeah, um, Totally. Well, it was five points for Tim, four points for Lisa, three points for Russell, two points for Asim, and one point for Alice. Lisa got a team of people to run around after her. You ran around on your own, like an idiot. <laughs> on your own rules. And Lisa went, OK, I'm not going to lift a finger here. I'm going to get these clowns to do it. Yeah, and, funk uh, that. <laughs> the live task. Throw as many eggs onto the shelf as possible. You must lie flat on your bed at all times. Most eggs on the shelf wins. You have 100 seconds. I would have hated this. Yeah, just... I. How many? So how many eggs did they have each? Was it just limitless? I guess. Yeah, I think sort of limitless eggs. Really, they had each yeah. had a chicken that was just constantly laying <laughs> eggs. <laughs> they should have put that on the. You know, that would have been an amazing thing to watch. Yeah. Constantly laying chicken, but. A chicken on the shelf laying eggs down yes. towards them, and they had to throw yes. the eggs back onto the shelf. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, sort that out, Alex, if you're listening. <laughs> um, but hey, look, I think I would have the idea of lying yeah, on my you... back and then trying to throw something up. Oh, I think God. would have been. I, I, I'm not very. I'm not very good at stuff like that. No, I think it would have taken me sort of ten goes to work out how where it was going iron. to land. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing about a lot like trajectory. Alice. I mean, yeah, no, she Alice ma- gets she two, managed... two yeah. eggs. Yeah, uh, Asim got three. Uh, five eggs for Russell and Tim and Lisa. Really enjoyed Russell eggs. getting annoyed and taking his mask off. Like, still angry. <laughs> still absolutely livid. Shouting and Lisa about just health calmly, and safety like a 60 year old man. <laughs> calmly, Lisa just getting six eggs. Yeah. I wouldn't have had Lisa down as being good at throwing eggs onto a no, shelf lying, lying on her back. Absolutely not. Be honest. Who not knew? Well, she says herself, it. who knew? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I really enjoyed, I don't know if you noticed, Alice said, you're a Renaissance woman at the end. And I, it's so funny the idea that in the Renaissance. That was, <laughs> that was that one was of the strings to people's yeah. bows. Yeah. String yeah. measuring, egg chucking, <laughs> snooker. <laughs> so it was five points for Lisa, four points for Russell and Tim, two points for Asim. And one point for Alice again, uh, meaning she comes at the bottom, uh, the bottom of the episode, which I think has happened before and will continue to happen. Uh, <laughs> Asim on nineteen points, uh, second bottom. Then Russell on twenty-one points. Lee's on twenty-five points, and it's an episode victory for Tim Vine. It's incredible because he's only won one film task, and he his wins an episode. 
Yeah, that's bizarre, isn't it? It's pretty impressive. How is that possible? Well, the team task, obviously, that. Oh, yeah. Well, so it's really Lisa's victory this, this episode. <laughs> yeah, she's a sister. Thank God him. she took home that, took home the series. <laughs> Margaret, thank you so much for coming back on the Taskmaster oh, podcast. It's been a pleasure. I'm going to keep talking about it once you've hung up on me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, There's you're... no one here, <laughs> but I'm going to keep talking. I'll keep recording it. I'll send you my thoughts later. Yeah, shall do I? please, please. Any any footnotes? Um, <laughs> you're of course welcome. Welcome back anytime. We love having you on the podcast. We will of course now ask you to rate your experience on the podcast between one and five points in the style of the Taskmaster. Well, I'm not going to suddenly piss all over your work, Ed. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's a five. Yay! Hooray! Am I going to listen back to this and find out you said everything I was about to say before me and I completely ignored you? I feel like that's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you can edit it to make it sound like that. Yeah, that would be, be great. Just really me ignoring everything. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Margaret. Thank you. Thanks, Bye-bye. Ed. Bye. There we are. Thanks very much to Margaret for coming on again and we will have you on again. That sounds like a threat, but it's always wonderful uh, to chat to Margaret. Uh, thanks very much for listening. Don't forget to check out Taskmaster Supermax Plus at Taskmaster Supermax Plus dot VHX dot TV. And don't forget to buy tickets for me on tour, edgammore.co.uk, for more information on that. Thanks very much for listening. We'll be back again next week to discuss Series 6, Episode 6, uh, because we do it in a linear fashion. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now!